Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. This is a small lecture on the subject of the book of Exodus for the benefit of the second year students of the Home Bible College. So the book of Exodus then is the second book in the Old Testament and we could call it the deliverance of Israel from Egypt. Now it, it's a large book, it has 40 chapters written by Moses the book of Exodus continues the story begun in Genesis. The Israelites lived for 400 years in Egypt. It is thought that after an invasion of the Assyrians, the Egyptian pharaohs took on a very different character. They knew nothing about Joseph and were afraid of the strength of the Hebrew nation that was living among them. And the Egyptians began to oppress them and they turned them into slaves. And the book of Exodus describes the deliverance of Israel from Egypt by Moses. Joseph had brought them into the land of Egypt and Moses would lead them out. Seventy people entered Egypt in Genesis chapter 46 verse 27. But it is thought that they numbered about two million when they came out of Egypt. Um, Egypt was the most developed civilization of its day and Moses was thoroughly taught in all the wisdom and the sciences of Egypt but Moses was not yet taught of God and so at the age of 30 he fled to the backside of the desert where he worked as a shepherd. All of God's true leaders are shepherds. They come from the wilderness. They emerge from the wilderness with a red face from the blazing sun. They come from obscurity and they come, they come full of the spirit of the Lord and full of the knowledge of the Lord. They are men of God who in the desert learnt to trust in God. Um, at the age of 80, listen to this, at the age of 80 God spoke to him to go back to Egypt to deliver the Hebrews but Moses felt unable to do so so the Lord gave him his brother Aaron as his spokesperson God had finally found his man now the life of Moses can be divided into three periods of 40 years between 1 to 40 he learned to be somebody in Egypt from 40 to 80 he learnt to be nobody in the backside of the desert. And from 80 to 120, he learnt what could happen in the life of a man that said, God for me. Now the story of Exodus is summarised for us in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 23 to 29. Let me read it for you. By faith Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw they saw that he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's commandment by faith Moses when he was come to years refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Through faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of the blood, lest he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them. By faith they passed through the Red Sea as on dry land, which the Egyptians are saying to do, were drowned. So that's the life of um, Moses, uh, which is described in the book of Exodus. Now, the book of Exodus, in its very simple terms, describes a number of periods in the life of Israel. We have Egypt, sorry, Israel in Egypt, number one. Number two is Israel in the desert. And number three is Israel at Mount Sinai. So with Israel in Egypt, we have slavery and opposite on oppression. And then we have the birth of Moses, his childhood and adulthood. And then we have Moses' call and his return. And then we have the plagues 
and the Passover. So those are the four subjects of Israel in Egypt. And then we have that period of time Israel in the desert. First of all the leaving of Egypt and then the crossing of the Red Sea and then the complaining in the desert. And then we have that third part which is Israel at Mount Sinai. So we have the giving of the law, the tabernacle instructions, the golden calf and the tabernacle constructed. So these are the three aspects of the book of um, Exodus. It's a fantastic book full of very interesting stories and I think you'll be very much blessed to be reading through the book of Exodus. We look forward to speaking to you next time and we wish you every blessing. God bless you. Bye for now. Mm.